Hi everyone, this is Julie from Sublime Jewels. Today I'm going to do a swipe and I'm mainly looking at doing some metallics this time. What I've got down here at the moment is um, just some leftover paint that I did from a Dutch pour today and I sort of attempted to do a bit of a ring pour on this one but um, it was just a bit bland and a bit ordinary so I thought I'm gonna just try one with some some metallics and just see how we go um, I'm not gonna put them in any particular order I'm just gonna kind of random them uh, across the canvas here and then I'm gonna be using uh, a gold cell activator and swipe either side <clears throat> the paints that I'm using today this one is Van Dyke Brown by Amsterdam, but I've actually mixed in, it's probably a bit hard to see, but I've mixed in some gold, Tattered Angels, Golden Goddess, just to bling up that, um, that brown a little bit. And then I've got some Rolio Copper, which is quite pretty in there. I've then got a Deco Art, which is called Mink Pearl, which is also quite pretty. So I'm sort of hoping when these dry, that they'll throw off that shimmer. And the last one I've got is by Paper Mill. This is a pigment also, and this is the silver. And for my cell activator today, I am using Amsterdam Rich Gold with Australian Floetrol and a mix of about three to one. So, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, um, but I'm just gonna give it a whirl and we'll just see what happens. I had seen one done similar with these sort of similar colours, um, but not with the blue background, but I just kind of thought it would look nice if it turns out the way I'm hoping it will. So I'm not kind of putting these colours sort of in block lines as well, um, only because I'm sort of hoping to get a bit of variation in the... Um, in the actual design when I swiped. As I said, I've not sort of done this before. <clears throat> so this is all a bit of an experiment. But that's what we like. We do like experiments. In fact, I'm even just gonna, might even just sort of start tipping this on because I'm gonna need a, a fair bit, I reckon. Might as well get messy. And again, in no particular order. Because it doesn't really matter with this swipe. And I think probably what I'll do is um, probably end up putting the mink pearl on last. Pop a little bit more silver down. down with our pearl it's quite a bit on there but it's all right with these sort of things it doesn't really matter <clears throat> now I'm going to be using um, just some torn up paper towel just wipe with um, just going to give that a quick torch because there's quite a few bugs was in there when I just kind of mixed up some of these paints today. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be using ripped up paper towel <clears throat> and yeah, I've just kind of randomly um, ripped them up 
I haven't done them, haven't you know, neatly cut them or anything like that, mainly because I'm a bit lazy and I'm impatient. So, <clears throat> all right. So let's get down some of this CA and let's just see how we go, huh? Again, I might just pour it, I think, so I get enough. Okay, that'll do. So, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> just gently lay that on the top and then just gently drag it out. Didn't work very well. Let's try this. Okay. I'll probably drag the first one out a little bit too quick. You only want to use one sheet also per swipe. Otherwise, you can end up mixing the blue back in over top of everything else. So, yeah, I think the trick with this is to just Try not to go too fast. And I'm not too fast if I still get some blues going on here. So. I might turn it around because I can always fiddle with it afterwards. <clears throat> Just a little bit more CA down in the middle here. And hopefully then I can drag some of these ones down. Who knows? Could be a disaster. But we'll just see. kind of more what I was looking for before. say I'm not very graceful doing this but anyway who said that painting needed to be graceful anyway I probably would have done better if I'd have been a bit more organized with my paper towels and <clears throat> had cut them nicely instead of them being like a madman's picnic but anyway it is what it is I'll drag this one down okay what I might do I think is grab a swipe tool Just see if I can swipe some of this down. Yeah, that's better. Let's 
just did just a little bit more CA here. Just a little bit there. Swipe this one. I'm not hating it yet, so I'm just going to kick on and just keep going here. So the main thing is trying to not leave sort of too much cell activator into the middle, I guess. But also sort of trying to get some of those colours coming down as well. Not really happy with this bit here, but I'm not sure there's much I can do about that. We'll see what happens there. Okay. Oh, here's my little swipe tool. <clears throat> You know, this is the thing you don't want to then end up taking all your colours off because that's exactly what I've just done there. I'm just going to give it a tilt and we'll see if I can rescue it. I think this is the thing that I really like about fluid art is that, you know, there's no right or wrong. And to me, it's all about experimenting. And you know what? If it doesn't work, it doesn't really matter. You just wipe it off and start again. So... <clears throat> what I might do actually is just grab my little blower jobby, mini blower. Let's see if I can blow out a bit of this bit here without blowing the life out of it. really done anything without if I try and get some of this out here.
You know, even though I like those cells there, it's a bit thick. Yeah, I'm not going to do that anymore. And as I said, you know, what starts out as a really good idea sometimes doesn't turn out how you've actually envisaged it to be. But I have to be honest and say I don't really hate it. Probably just this bit here where I use the um, the mini blower. It's probably the only bit that I'm not really liking at the moment. So what I might do is just pop a little bit more CA, just a little bit here, and just see if I can drag that down this way. As I said, I only really want a little bit to go down, so I don't want to swipe a whole lot. So we'll just try this. There we go. <clears throat> Do you know what? I'm not going to fiddle with that anymore. Except maybe just this little bit here. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there now. Um, I just don't want those divots. Okay, I'll torch it and hopefully we'll get a few more cells, but anyway, we'll see. I actually really like the um, the colour palette. I really like the metallics against that blue. Um, I think it's a really nice contrast. So, all right. I think I will leave it there. Just bring it up a little bit and closer and just see if you can sort of see the shimmering there. Those colours. So what I'll do is I will let it dry and I'll come back with a dry result.